Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. Today we're cracking open a new bottle. Uh, this is Benchmark Bonded. Now, as many of you will know, uh, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, Benchmark, the old number 8 brand 80 proof, is one of my favorite uh, bottom shelf bourbons. Buffalo Trace has come out with a line of different benchmark expressions, a little bit more elevated than the number eight. Uh, for example, these have metal caps <laughs> so, instead of the plastic cap. And uh, this is the benchmark bonded now, which means it's bottled and bond. It's a hundred proof or cracked it, cracked it open just now. Never had this expression before. This is using the Buffalo Trace Mash Bill number one. Uh, the age statement, I do not see on here, but the regular benchmark is a, well, actually this has to, since it's bottled and bond, has to be aged for four years. So it's a minimum four year age statement was MSRP is 20 bucks. So let's see what we get out of it. And off the top of my head, I think the only bottled in bond selection I know of from Buffalo Trace is the Colonel E.H. Taylor line. So I wonder if this is going to kind of stack up to the Colonel Taylor, especially at a third of the price and more than twice the availability. So let's see what we get out of it. <laughs> see what we get. So, I mean, it's got a nice color on it. Compared to some of the other, well, all of the other, I think, so far that I've checked with the, uh, and sorry for the, as always, for the spotty glass. I try, I got to get a water softener or put jet dry into the old dishwasher or something, but, you know, even when I hand wash, that uh, smells pretty good. So let's see what we got out of it. I've already done my acclimation taste, so my taste buds are acclimated to the bourbon. So let's see what we get out of it. It's uh, interesting. It is it is nice. It's better than I thought it was or would be. It, um, it's relatively smooth. Um, for a bottled and bond, huh. This is part of my issue with these benchmarks. I so enjoy the old number eight, which is 80 proof, and some of these other expressions are kind of a letdown. I mean, I'm getting that real strong hint of hit of corn, a little bit of that malted barley, a little bit of rye spice. has a little medicine-y overtone to it to me. Um, it does taste more refined than some of the other bottled and bond expressions I've had, <clears throat> namely Old Tub, which uh, is really strong and would put hair on your chest, which is fine if you're a guy in the 70s. <laughs> but uh, it's, you know, it's a decent bourbon it's not something I'm going to go to all the time. It's harsher to me than the old Colonel Taylor or Colonel E.H. Taylor uh, bottled and bond. <clears throat> it does have a little bit of a harshness to it. Uh, is it something I'm going to go to? All the time. I've been saying this on many of these benchmark tastings. 
I don't think it's something I'm going to go to all that often. Uh, it's, uh, it does, like I said, it tastes a little harsh, a little harsher than I would like it to be. So, uh, maybe as I sample from the bottle over time, it'll, it'll open up more. Obviously, I just opened it. It hasn't really opened up in the glass. I tried to talk as much as I could before trying it, but that, you know, I might have to give it about 10 minutes or so for it to really open up. But, uh, to me, so far, I mean, there's, there's so many better bottles and bond offerings out there. Um, if you ever see JTS Brown or JW Dant, bottled and bond I I would prefer that over this even Evan Williams bottled and bond which I feel is I did a video on this compared to all the other Heaven Hill bottled and bond offerings like five of them I've tried side by side <laughs> and Evan Williams came in dead last but I would probably still see now I'm getting a little tobacco a little tobacco on that. Fresh tobacco, not smoked tobacco. <laughs> so let me just give it another chance. Jury's out. Um, but I do plan, now that I have all the benchmark expressions, there we go, we'll put it right there. Uh, I will do a side by side by side by side by side by side video tasting blind on it. To be honest, the foolproof I did like the first time I tried it, and it's just even with this little amount out of it, it's opened up a whole lot. So I'm thinking once these others open up a bit more, I'll probably enjoy it a bit more. So look for a follow-up video to this, but the initial taste, uh, I've had better, but if you see these benchmarks, just to collect them, they're pretty inexpensive. You go from the cheapest, which is benchmark gold number eight, which is around $11, I think right now, and the full proof is $25, and everything else in between is priced in between. So to collect them, if you see them, is pretty inexpensive to do. I just noticed the small batch of bottle <laughs> is different than the others. Uh, but anyway, squirrel. So anyway, there we go. Benchmark bonded. Look for a follow-up. First impressions weren't that great. It's just a standard bottled and bond offering. I've had better, but we'll see how it goes over time. So... There you are. Until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon, and thank you for watching. Hey, everyone. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.